This is story of inventions. This is inventing the telephone. All right. So Alexander Graham, Graham Bell is famous for inventing the telephone. In fact, many inventors came up with similar ideas, but Bell's was the first working telephone ever invented to be fully patented. I'm sorry. So other people had come up with them, but his actually got the patent. Remember what a patent is? Mm -hmm. What is a patent? It's like to say he actually done it like this. Right. He owns the invention. Okay. So the word telephone comes from the word in Greek that means distant sound. It existed before Bell's invention. Until 1876, it meant any sound that carried a long way, such as a foghorn. You guys have heard foghorns, right? When they go, beep, you know, that really loud. Okay, in the 1870s, in Boston, the United, the United States, Scottish-born inventor, so he was born in Scotland, Alexander Graham Bell was working on improving the telegraph. This was an invention that uses wires to carry long-distance coded messages in the form of electrical signals. You guys have seen those on Little House on the Prairie? Okay, a telegraph is where you send a little message that goes over the wires and they go back and forth, Okay. That's not like a telephone. You can't hear someone talk. You, they just, you, you give a message and you say, send this message to California that tells, tells Abigail, I love her. And then Abigail goes to the post office and they tell her, you have a telegram. And it says, I love you. Okay. Wait, so is it like a letter kind of? Like, it's kind of like a letter, but. A piece of paper? You, no, the, 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 no, the information comes through the line. And the person tells and you. And the person what? writes it down and tells Morse you. Code? Like Morse code, kind of like Morse code, yeah. Bell hoped to find a way to send several signals at once, but in 1874, his experiments gave him another idea. He saw how he might be able to turn the human voice into an electrical signal and send them along a wire instead. Bell and his assistant, Thomas Watson, worked on this idea for months in secret. By the summer of 1875, they had managed to send some muffled sounds along a wire. So here's Alexander Graham Bell examining his first telephone with his assistant, Thomas Watson. So there's a picture of them, kind of pretend. So Bell's telephone couldn't yet transmit speech clearly, but on February 14, 1876, he submitted a patent application. On the same day, two hours early, another inventor, Elisha, Alicia Gray, submitted a caveat, a note of his intent. Let's, it's going to tell you a note of his intention to file a patent for his own telephone design. But Bell's paperwork was dealt with first and appeared first in the logbook. Gray later challenged Bell's patent, but Bell won. So he went down in history as the inventor of the telephone. And that's something. Several inventors were working on the telephone designs at around the same time. For example, Johann Philip Reese's telephone invented in 1860 was very quiet and muffled, but it did transmit sounds. Okay, so here's Bell's telephone. The key to making the telephone work lay in converting the various sounds of speech into a varying electrical current. Here's how Bell did this. Okay, so one, this cone collected sound waves, vibrations in the air while speaking. Do you guys want to look at this? Then two, the vibrations made this thin membrane vibrate up and down right here. Then three, the vibrating membrane made the needle move up and down too. And the moving needle was held in a container full of acid <clears throat> as it moved up and down. Why does it show heads? That's the person speaking into it. It changed how well the acid could conduct or carry a flow of electricity. The acid, Hannah, you can't do that. Get off of my chair, please. The acid was part of a circuit carrying an electrical current. As the conductivity of the acid changed, the current in the circuit varied. And the circuit carried the varying signal along a wire to another telephone where the process was reversed. Okay? So that's how the telephone works. Watson, come here. Bell kept improving his telephone until it worked well. On March 10, 1876, as Thomas Watson tested the receiver in another room, Bell made his famous first phone call. Mr. Watson, come here. I want to see you. That was what his first words were. Landline telephones today work just like Bell's telephone by turning sound vibrations into a varying electrical current. Please stop. Although they have modern electronic parts instead of acid and a needle, 
But many people nowadays use cell phones, which work another way. Those use radio waves. So a cell phone is a mini radio set. It converts your voice vibrations into radio signals. The nearest base tower collects the signals and sends them to their destination on a traditional landline. And then another base tower transmits radio signals to send your call to another cell phone. So that's how that one works. Okay, so now we've got a record.